good morning everyone it is Friday I'm so happy it's Friday um, and I get off work early today so I'm excited about that I have an appointment I actually have two appointments and then I'll have the rest of the day free I'm so excited and I left a little bit early because I have to go get gas y'all know me and gas <laughs> I wait to the last possible moment and then I go get it um I was gonna tell you guys so it's so cold outside you guys right now California weather has been so bipolar lately it's cold in the mornings and then in the afternoon it's hot and then it gets cold again at night yeah and everyone in my house is kind of getting sick and it's like a joke now every time somebody coughs or sneeze it's like uh-uh I don't want that like that's nothing to joke about this people are really getting this and getting sick and not feeling well so the last few days when I've left work I've actually turned my air conditioner on in my car because it was that hot like in the 80s so so yeah and maybe it's because it's hotter in the car than it is outside I don't know but regardless I had to turn my air on because it was hot anyway you guys I left early so I can go get gas let me do that and I'll talk to you guys soon so I'm home from work there's Savannah and look at all her snacks guess what movie is on Netflix tell us Savannah since you love it so much tell them tell them <laughs> see her shirt see her shirt so the Lil Peep video, his life story documentary is on Netflix. So that's what we're about to watch right now. So you guys look at my sunflowers. I just wanted to show you they're still surviving but this one has drooped a little bit more and the purple flowers, whatever these are called, have bloomed a whole lot more. And I looked at it cause I'm like, it's drooping, I'm so sad, I don't want it to die. The water's completely gone. So it did come with, I was about to say fish food. <laughs> it did come with food for the flowers that I put in there, but I'm gonna give it some more water. And then hopefully, I know there's no recovering from this, but hopefully, you know, it'll last at least a little bit longer now. So I just finished watching the Lil Peep documentary on Netflix, and his life was pretty sad. He was definitely searching for something, and he thought it, he can find it in drugs and stuff like that, and it's very sad and unfortunate that that took his life. So yeah, so I finally know exactly like who this person was because Savannah's like all crazy. Oh, little Pete, this little, I'm like, who is that? So now that I've seen the doc documentary, I know a little bit more about what she's talking about and stuff like that. Okay, so it's still kind of early, not too late. Um, I haven't eaten dinner yet. This hair is a mess, y'all. Cannot wait to get it done. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it next. I kind of want braids again, but then I kind of don't. I actually may get a weave, so I don't know. We shall see. Anyway, um, I think that's the reason why I'm not really doing anything with my hair right now because I don't know what I want. But until I decide, I did pick up another ponytail today and I buy ponytails often because it's synthetic hair. It's not 100% human. <clears throat> but I like the different styles and whatnot. So picked up another one today and I'm sure you guys will see it, me with it on soon. But I'm just um, relaxing. I haven't eaten dinner yet because I haven't cooked dinner. Tonight is a thin for yourself night and then I will cook dinner tomorrow. So I had snacks when we were watching the little peep um, documentary, but I haven't eaten dinner yet. So kind of hungry and then not a whole lot is going on. Not a whole lot ever goes on. I don't do anything anymore, you guys. So tomorrow I'm actually going to cook these beef short ribs, but I want to marinate them tonight. So I'm gonna season them really well have it sit 
all night and then tomorrow I will throw it in the slow cooker. Okay, so the meat's already washed off and it's seasoned and I'm going to put some foil over this and let it sit overnight. And then, you guys, I always use Creole seasoning. It's my go-to seasoning for everything. I do have salt and pepper and seasoning salt and other things, but this just flavors stuff so well. This is like my go-to for a lot of things, mostly everything. So anyway, I'm marinating that overnight and just gonna let it sit. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday and the clip that I just showed you before, that is actually on YouTube. So you guys know I sleep with my TV on every single night and that's just me. So last night instead of having a movie playing or a show in the background, I found on YouTube there's like nature relaxation, can't really call it a show, I don't know, but it's like 10 or 11 hours worth of stuff like I just showed you. There's some that has rainfall um thunderstorms and just different stuff like that that you can have playing in the background and yeah it was actually very peaceful i actually wish that the screen was black and then the music was playing but there's also the one with the rainfall it's the screen is black and you like see the rain falling whatever but anyway that was okay i sleep like the dead so trust me that was not waking me up so i don't have any plans to go anywhere today but i decided i need to get up get dressed I got tired of <laughs> I just edited a video and it's uploading now and I know I show you guys my life and whatever so when I have my bonnet on my head or my scarf or my bandana that's just me that being who I am so why hide that part but I so tired of seeing it in videos and you guys may be tired of seeing it as well but I don't know so I decided today and plus the way I've been feeling and what's going on I need to get up and like I said I know I'm not depressed, but I need to get up, get dressed, get myself out of this funk because dwelling on what's going on is not going to help the situation, you know, I, so I got up and I got dressed even though I don't plan on going anywhere today. And let me show you guys what I got on. So the shirt that I have on, I actually bought it from Disneyland like years ago. And let me just show you guys. It's super cute. So look at this shirt, you guys. It's super cute. It's Mickey and it has the little rhinestones on it. And it's super cute it's super huge on me as well and I'm pretty sure it says genuine it's really hard to try to show you this genuine original and look on the back of the shirt I think that's super cute anyway this shirt is a 2x and when I first bought it I was busting out of it I wore it at Disneyland and everything was tight and constricting but I wore it anyway don't get me wrong I know I'm still a plus-size lady but when I put this on this morning, it made me realize how far I've come, even though I don't think I have. And it's, you know, it's huge on me, which is a good thing. So anyway, I got dressed and put on my hair. And no, this is not the hair that I bought. The one that I bought is still in the back here. So you guys have actually seen this before. I just haven't worn it in a while. Anyway, so I'm gonna get up and do my usual. I don't have anywhere to go because I, we went grocery shopping last night. I know I didn't vlog that, but Savannah and I, we went to Winco and bought groceries, bought breakfast for today and stuff like that. So, oh, I'm actually going to put the ribs in the slow cooker, get that started. And yeah, let's see what today holds. Can y'all see who's peeking in? He keeps knocking on the door. Hi, do you want to come in? <laughs> do you want to come in? He's looking like, lady, just open up the stinking door. It's cold out here. It actually looks like it's going to rain. All right, I'll let you in. I'll quit messing with you. Oh, you are wet. It is raining. Ooh. Okay, he just got my feet. Well, now I feel bad, you guys. I mean, he had to go outside regardless. Normally when it's raining, we have him go out, do his business, and we bring him back in as soon as possible. But, I mean, he's a dog, it's okay, but I still feel bad because I was messy with him and he was looking at me like, yeah, lady, bring me in. It's wet out here because I don't know if I told you guys this, Boston is a princess. That's just how he is. So anyway, I'm just now, remember the meat that I seasoned last night? I am going to put it in the slow cooker. 
And for the barbecue sauce, I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Chipotle barbecue sauce. So, yeah. I don't think I've actually tasted this one before, or at least I, if I have, I don't remember. I put a little bit on my finger. Mmm, that tastes pretty good. So what I do is put the ribs in, and I'm putting the whole thing of barbecue sauce in. These ribs have fat on it, so I'm actually not going to add any water at all. Let it cook in its own juices. In addition to dinner, I'm not sure what I'm going to cook. I know I'm definitely going to make rice because I like rice with everything. And I know a lot of people say that's an Asian thing. Maybe I have Asian in me. I don't know. But it actually comes from living in the South. My mom raised me on... We had rice with everything. Rice with gravy, beans and rice, dirty rice. Mother pork chops with gravy and rice. I mean, whatever you can think of, it went with rice. So not just the Asian thing. So I just like rice. This actually may be a little spicy because, oh my goodness, y'all, hold on. Let me taste this one. And I say that because, okay, that's not bad. So I thought I grabbed two of the honey chipotle, but apparently I grabbed one sweet, it's a Vidalia onion barbecue sauce. It's still by Sweet Baby Ray's, and this one is actually sweet. So the sweetness in this will counteract the spiciness of the chipotle and then Creole season that I put on last night. So yeah. It will be okay. Let me just put an equal amount of this one. All right, so that's how it looks right now. And I'm just gonna cover it and forget about it. Every time I use my um, slow cooker, for some reason, this infomercial pops up in my head and I don't know exactly what they were selling, some kind of kitchen appliance. And all I remember was the phrase, set it and forget it. So that's what I think of when I do that. Setting it and forget it because I probably won't even open the lid for at least two hours because there's no reason to. I'm making my coffee in my Ray Dunn mug that says vacay because I need one y'all. <laughs> I really do. I have no plans to go on one right now but when I do I will let you guys know. But I wanted to show you guys this. So when we went to the grocery store the girls love apple juice right? But we don't refrigerate it because for some reason they do not like cold apple juice they hate it they think it's best warm so when we buy it drink it like that what do you guys think about that dairy kids have some weird little things like that um Tariq likes it cold i am not a huge apple juice drinker but when i drink it i want it to be cold so and i'm just putting my creamer my coffee um white chocolate macadamia yep mm, it smells so good also, I don't know why I'm showing you guys every drink that we got. I'm not showing you every drink that we got. Last week, I want to say, um, we went out to eat to the Cheesecake Factory. Um, and I got a cucumber, not cilantro. Where did that come from? I got a cucumber lime drink that had like, it was just very refreshing and it tasted so good. My girls thought it was disgusting. And I've actually seen this before in Winco and I didn't know whether I should get it or not, but it's cucumber lime with mint. And I don't know, it, it has a different taste of course, but it's very refreshing. And to me, how when you infuse your water with lemon and mint and sometimes cucumbers and other stuff like that, to me, that's what it tastes like, but of course more potent. So this is really good. So, and I'm having cereal and y'all don't judge me. I think I told you guys this before. I am so kid-like when it comes to cereal. I like Cookie Crisp, Apple Jacks, Captain Crunch. I mean, I love Frosted Flakes, but I have a kid taste when it comes to cereal. All that adult cereal, like Wheat Thins and the Czech stuff like that. I don't really do. It's okay, but I just love the sweet, unhealthy stuff pretty much. 
Um, so that's what I'm eating for breakfast. Don't judge me, but it has these little like cinnamon toast crunch things in it. And these, these actually look like cocoa puffs. And then it also has marshmallows in it. So yeah, you guys, I'm about to eat some very unhealthy cereal. And that's my breakfast. I'm gonna have my coffee and my face has been getting really dry around here in my nose lately. So I need to go, let me go moisturize my face. Yeah, look who's following me, because Savannah is not here. And we keep all the door, <laughs> the doors, we keep all of the doors closed when Boston is out and roaming, and that's because he goes into the bathroom and he takes toilet paper out and drags it into the house. He's done that to my bathroom also. He will go inside my bathroom or in my room where my garbage is and pull out all the trash and chew up the papers. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, I told him. I told on you, Boston. I told him everything you've been doing. I told everything you've been doing. Have you been a good boy? Where are you going? So just wanted to show you guys what the food is looking like. It smells really good. And I did end up adding a little bit of water in there just to make it not as thick. So yeah, it's not tender yet, of course. It's been in there a couple of hours, so not quite done. It is raining. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it is. And I'm not gonna show you guys my backyard because once again, <laughs> it does not look very good manicured wow i love the rain though he's right by me hey boston hey boston yeah but the minute savannah comes in the door you're gonna leave me. You're just using me, huh? You're just using me. That's okay, I still love you. All right, so it is much, ooh, it is much later and the food is actually done. I've cooked the rice and I made the vegetables to go with it. And I will probably eat a little bit later. I'm just not hungry right now. So I'm trying to find something to watch on Netflix. And that's it, just Shine and I that are home today. It's been about an hour since I last picked up the camera. I am hungry now, so I'm eating, so I'm just having my barbecue pork ribs over rice and steamed vegetables. And this is actually, I got this from Winco. Uh, it comes already lightly seasoned and it's really good. Sometimes I'll get, maybe not this particular brand, but another kind and I'll add sausages and shrimps to it and make it a whole meal. This has a really good flavor to it, so I just like bought a few bags of those. And so this is my dinner, you guys. It has fat on it right there, so I won't eat that, of course, but the ribs are fall off the bone good. This tastes so good. And remember how I told you guys that I got two different kinds of barbecue sauce? Flavor blended very well together. It tastes very good. Do you guys hear the rain? It's not really rain, it's actually on YouTube. Heavy rain and wind sounds with the black screen. So I've had that playing all night. Well, not exactly all night. Um, then when it goes away, it's a black screen so the room could stay dark and you could sleep. So this was actually very comforting. Okay, officially good morning. Now that you guys can actually see me. So it is Sunday. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I'm ready for church. Just washing my face. So you know how sometimes on YouTube things will pop up and you're like, why are you suggesting this for me? I would never watch this or just weird and random things. And I know with me, <clears throat> sometimes I'll click on it and sometimes I won't. Um, I clicked on, you know those reborn babies so i've heard about them before but i thought that they were that they were for little girls and 
they look creepy to me because they're realistic. So I'm thinking, okay, well maybe it's for little girls and you know, little girls play with these so they can have a doll that looks like an actual baby. There's a whole world of this, you guys. Hey, the kid's name wasn't Johnny, but it's it's some, something like Little Johnny's Morning re Routine, the Reborn Babies. I think that's what it's called. So anyway, I'm thinking, as I'm watching a video, I'm like, okay, well maybe she's just doing this video to appeal to little girls. She gets him dressed and she goes up to him. She wakes him up like you would normally wake up a toddler. And oh, he has his binky in his hand and he's so cute. And she's like, really? touching him and turning him and doing everything that you would do to an actual kid and i'm still watching thinking okay well so here's the thing i try not to judge people based on what they believe who they are um their family dynamics um what they believe as far as religion because everybody is different and just because you're different i'm different so i don't want anyone to judge me or whatever based on because hey i only wear skirts because that's what i believe is right so for example so I'm just trying to give the video a chance <laughs> so it just goes on my lips are really dry right now anyway the video goes on and she opened a drawer and she had actual clothes that I guess she bought to put on this doll and then she brought him into the kitchen for breakfast and he loves oatmeal so she actually made him a plate of oatmeal and then gave him water in a sippy cup and then they didn't show us him eating but then when he was done I guess she put the doll's leg on the table <clears throat> and she goes that's always a sign that he's finished I don't like when he does that you know but you know this is what he does when he's done eating so then she's getting him ready and she's taking him to daycare and I'm just like let me research a little bit more so I started looking up other videos with the reborn babies and these are grown women treating this like it's a real child and some of them actually have children and then using the reborn baby or the newborn whatever that thing is called as one of their children and they're treating it like it's alive i'm sorry i'm sorry i just find that whole world that whole thing just really weird i, I must say that's weird so another thing that popped up on my suggested to watch or whatever was some guy and I don't know if it was a guy because I only saw his hands but he was doing miniature cooking like a miniature kitchen he had a tiny knife a tiny spatula um tiny vegetables a tiny egg and that just intrigued me so I started searching more videos like miniature cooking y'all it's a whole world And no, I don't find that odd. I do, but I mean, I like watching cooking videos, but then seeing the miniature cooking, I mean, their channel has a whole kitchen and I don't know if the refrigerator is functioning. It probably is. One kitchen, the sink actually works when they turn the faucet on. And the way they use the ovens is they use those little tea light candles and they light it that way. So that's how they're able to cook. But they're cooking actual food, like tiny foods. And I'm like, where do they get these tiny carrots that look like they're full grown carrots? Where do they get these onions? And oh, it's a whole world. So yeah, that was my crazy down the rabbit hole um, experience with YouTube this morning. One that I find found completely weird and yeah. But the other one, miniature cooking. Did y'all even know there was such a thing? It is fascinating to me and I even subscribe to some of their channels and yeah, I know I'm weird. So here I am, I'm being one of the weird ones, but do I want to get a miniature kitchen and do all that? No, but I just want to watch it. So yeah, have you guys ever heard of the miniature cooking or even the reborn babies? Tell me what you think about each of those if you have heard of them. If you haven't, go check it out, then come back and comment and let me know. 
All right, so let me finish getting ready for church. All right, so I am home for church and I've actually put my pajamas on and I've eaten lunch already. It's still early, so I'm just here. The house is clean. I still have to do a few dishes um, a little bit later, but I'll wait till after dinner. Anyway, you guys, I'm, t I'm so weird, I know. I am so fascinated with the miniature cooking. I didn't even know what it was it was a thing. And like I told you guys earlier, do I want to do it? No. But I'm so fascinated with it. I I mean, these people have just miniature knives and spoons and cups and just weird things and I think some of the appliances are appliances are actually working this lady was making bread and she put it in the oven the oven and the ones that I seen before they put like one a candle underneath it but she didn't do that so maybe it was heating up from someplace else so I'm gonna show you this right here so they're making like a full McDonald's meal and the sink works Y'all, I'm, I'm so weird. I'm going to be like so into this for like the next two weeks and then I'm going to not be fasc fascinated anymore. But yeah, let me show you guys this. Look, the sink actually, the faucet actually has water coming out of it. it Look like it's censored. Y'all, I know I'm weird, but this is just fascinating. I didn't know this was a thing. Lighting is not very good. I know I don't have my lights on in my living room. Anyway, um, so this whole miniature cooking thing, and yes, I'm still on that. So Cheyenne was like, mom, there's Instagram pages on it. It's been out a long time. Apparently I didn't know. I'm, I'm behind the times or something. I don't know. I'm just so fascinated with it. So I'm just researching everything about it and yeah it's just interesting to me